First, I want to talk about how to hold a guitar pick properly, and then what kind of picks I recommend. This might seem basic, but it's a very important foundation for good technique. My name is Simon, and I'm a guitarist, music producer, and graphic designer from Norway. I'm here to share everything I've learned so far in my journey, and document what I learn in real time. First of all, there's not only one correct way of holding a pick. I've seen great players hold picks in very strange ways and still play amazingly. But I'm going to show you what works best for me. And this also works good for most people. I like to have the pick resting on my index finger and put my thumb on top at a 90 degree angle. And that's basically it. This is a natural way to hold a hand, so it allows me to be very relaxed. But there are a few things I usually recommend to avoid. First one is using three fingers on your pick. Instead, use your index finger and thumb as I just showed you. Next thing to avoid is to rest the pick on the front of the index finger. It's better to let the pick rest on the side of the finger. Okay, so that's how I recommend to use a pick and how to hold a pick. Now let's look at what picks to use. You can use a thinner pick, which is less than 0.8 millimeters in thickness, or a thicker pick, which is around 0.8 millimeters or more. Thinner picks are good for strumming, because they go through the strings very easily, even if you hold a pick very tight. For most people playing electric guitar, I recommend using a thicker pick at around one millimeter or more. Thicker picks are good for lead guitar, faster playing, and I'll say you get a bit more control because you get more resistance when you're picking a note. It's harder to play stuff like that with a thinner pick. When you're strumming with a thick pick, you just need to hold the pick a bit looser. The pick I've used for around the five past years is the Just 3 John Petrucci pick. It's 1.5 mm, so it's quite thick, has a good grip and a pointy tip, which I really like. What guitar picks you use is very much a personal preference, so try some different picks and see what feels good to you. So now we've talked about how to hold a pick, but we also need to use the pick. So in the next video, I'm going to show you three simple steps to a perfect picking technique. So I'll see you there.